Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. So I just thought I'd take you through what I'm going to be up to today and maybe tomorrow. Um, I've been working on getting loads of different types of pots ready um, for the shop online. I'll just show you what I've been making. So um, these will be dog bowls. Um, I'll just show you. So I usually put the name of your furry friend on the front and this one is glazed in like a vanilla glaze but um, I've just been doing loads of tests of glazes actually so I'll show you. You see it is like, I really like how it flows over the texture and then you have um, some like brown bits poking through so it's not so bright which I really like, it looks more earthy. So this is a firm favourite, it also looks really lovely over Kuranuki carvings. So this one's quite an interesting one, it has bits of yellow and then it like pulls the speckles in the clay which I really like, you can see here. And then this is what the green's going to be, so it actually matches it all. <laughs> so yeah, I like how it breaks on the texture and um, yeah it just looks really pretty, it's like a really nice muted jade kind of green. And this one is my like proper favourite one, I love it, I've always wanted to have like a warm kind of sandy glaze and I really love this one, reminds me of like the beach and summertime, kind of like a goldy sandy one. So I think those four will be like the core collection. So I've just been working on my wobble cups. And also some coasters, these have a little swirl in it so I'm hoping the glaze will like pick up the different kind of, you know, texture in the glaze, in the clay. And then these are going to be um, some uh, lemon juices, so I'm going to carve some uh, lines so that you can kind of juice your lemon on these. And then I wanted to make like little smaller items for the shop and these are little Kuranuki um, kind of ring holders so you put your ring on top and I think they'll look really, really cute. There you go, you can see the texture. <laughs> yeah, I really love these ones, so. And they're super quick to make. Um, that's them all there. Yeah, so let me know if you want a tutorial on making those little Kuranuki ring holders. So today I just want to throw some vases and also I have a load of Kuranuki cottages to hollow out. Um, which I've been actually filming um, like close-up shots of how I do that so I'll probably put those together in a, like a separate tutorial video for you guys but yeah I'll show you what I get up to today and actually I keep I'll show you this I keep all of my Kuranuki houses in these boxes so these ones have been shaped and I'm gonna hollow them all out but I just keep them in here just so that they don't harden up too much because it's nice when you're making these to leave the clay a bit soft because it's just like much easier to hollow out and these kind of boxes work really well they're like the shorter boxes which I find really great for pottery I've also been making up really big batches of glazes the ones that I've decided to keep for the core collection and then these are all of like my testers I just keep them outside here in these shelves and this is the other side, loads of reclaim. <laughs> I'll just take you over to um, the summer house where I've got a few other pots kind of drying and waiting to get bisked. I've um, loaded up, yesterday I loaded up the bisque, fire, the kiln with a bisque fire. So I am hoping to open that tomorrow and then um, I'll load some other things that I hope will dry out today for the bisque as well. I'm trying to get loads of pots like ready because it's been a while since I updated the shop and also I'm wanting to do a little photo shoot so I want to have like all my pots kind of ready for that as well which will be super exciting so I'll just show you so I've been making loads of mugs which I really love the design it's quite just soft and simple let me take you outside it's a bit dark in here they're quite like soft and simple but I like the slight roundness of the bottom 
and then also the handle is just like very simple but I don't know like a really nice handle to hold I always have like bugs <laughs> inside <laughs> um, so yeah these will be either like plainly glazed or I'll also do a um, kind of I do like a initial in wax resist to make them personalized and also um, kind of paint the wax resist on for my splash mugs so when I come to glaze I'll kind of show you guys that and and then this one is just a simple you know me that you can just use like just a, for a normal drinking cup or anything but I kind of wanted to mimic the shape of the mug how it rounds off and then the foot is also very round I think it's just like really nice and tactile to hold and um, these will obviously shrink a bit so I think it will fit really nicely in your hand and then I also have done I want to make some incense burners, which I haven't made before, but I had an idea of just doing a little swirl. Let me show you. Doing a little swirl in the dish and then like making a hole for where your stick incense will go. So I'm just testing these out and see how well they work. But um, then I kind of trim off a little indent in the bottom. But um, yeah, I think these look super pretty. So these are going to go in the next bisque. You can see my bisque shelf is looking pretty bare, so I'm excited to unload this bisque. Anyway, yeah, so like I say, I'm hoping to unload the bisque tomorrow and I'll show you all of the things I fired. It's mainly test tiles because I wanna just go through all of my glazes and make sure that they're, um, I probably will just do one firing just of my testers of all the glazes I have just to make sure that they're like perfect because because it's still like a new kiln and I'm kind of wanting to make sure that um, yeah the glazes are like how I expect them to be before I actually like glaze my proper pots um, so yeah anyway I'll show you that but I'll yeah I filmed me actually like showing you how I load the bisque so I think I'll put, pop that in like a little tutorial which I'll post after this video but yes so what are we doing now? So first I'm going to, well these pots um, need trimming today but they're still a little bit um, soft in the bottom so what I'm going to do is wire these off, flip them over to dry then trim them and then I have like 12 cottages to hollow out which I'll show you is a bit, it will take me a bit of time but yeah they're kind of good good stage to hollow out the kind of soft but still kind of have some integrity so yeah I'll do that now
So I'm just popping on here just to show you how I make one of my wobble, you know me. I start by placing it into the centre of the wheel using the rings as a guide and then I use a needle tool just to make sure it's in centre. If it's not in centre, the needle tool will leave a mark in an area where it's off centre and you can use that as a guide just to push it into the centre. And you know when the pot is centred when the needle tool evenly kind of makes a mark all the way around the cup. I then attach it using lugs of clay and use a ribbon loop tool to smooth off the bottom. Here I'm just making sure that I hold the tool very close to the loop. This way you have as much control over it as possible, especially if your cup is a little bit wobbly, you wanna just make sure that you have um, kind of as much control as you're trimming it so that the tool doesn't go flying or something like that. So here I'm just trimming a kind of a small curve into the bottom and then also marking out where the foot will go. Here I'm using the tool um, and kind of digging it in, so using the pointed end and digging it into the base of the cup to dig out the clay um, in the middle of the foot ring. And it's just important to take your time doing this and be as, as controlled as possible. I'm also using my finger to kind of anchor me to the pot as well so that, you know, it's not likely that the tool will get caught and then kind of go flying or like make a gouge into the foot. So I just like to do this a bit more carefully. And once I've done with that, I then um, flip the tool over and smooth off the base. So here I will use the flatter end just to smooth off the base and even that out because as we've been digging out the clay, um, the way I've dug it out, it's kind of formed rings at the base. So I just want to make sure that I'm smoothing that out, out nice and flat. Um, so once I'm happy with that, I then carve the foot on the outside. So here I'm just removing the weight of the clay on the outside of the foot ring. And what I like, hit, like to do here is actually put in like a very nice curve so that it kind of flows into those undulations of the form. And that's it. So trimming's done. I'll show you everything I've trimmed. This is the trimming carnage. Just clean that up in a minute. So these are going to be my wobble cups. I just trimmed a little foot ring at the bottom. I like to keep it quite curved and simple but yeah I really like how these turned out like they have a little bit of wobble but not too much. And then just also the straight versions of those. These are just a straight version of those little you know me, it's same with the same foot ring. And then these are some coasters I threw on the wheel and they've um so they've just like firmed up and um naturally come away from the bat. So I'm excited to see how these look glazed up. And then I have some pet bowls so this is for dogs or cats and I'll just write the kind of name on the front in wax resist so that the glaze goes everywhere apart from the name and you can see like the lovely raw speckled clay through um, and then also these I'm quite happy about are little lemon juices but I've kind of carved I've carved here the um, bit that juices your lemon into like a little mountain and quite similar to how I carve my Kuranuki work and I think it looks really cool. So I'll see how well they work. I wanted to show you, I get a lot of questions about how I reclaim all my clay um, and I'm just doing it now while I'm tidying up so I'll just show you. Oh look at this butterfly. Oh so pretty. Um, but there's so many butterflies in this garden. Anyway, <laughs> back to business. Um, so I keep two big buckets. I put all of my dried um, uh, that my dried clay scraps in this one. So if I'm trimming, um, if I'm doing like my carving of my kuranuki, I just like sweep all of these into the bucket, and then also I'll put all of these trimmings from when I trim pots on the wheel. They all go into there to dry out, and then once they're dried, drying out, um, dried out, I then pop them into the slops bucket. Um, so all of my throwing water and also any of 
like my water from throwing on the wheel I keep in that bucket and then I just transfer them onto here and I just transfer them into this bucket and then I use that to kind of reclaim all of my dry clay, clay scraps and what I do is usually like put the dry ones that are on top in there and then let the next kind of layer dry out and then once that's kind of more of like a sloppy clay I then transfer that onto these plaster bats so yeah I mean I, I generate quite a lot because of the Kuranuki you have so much off cut so I really need to like make sure I keep on top of that because otherwise it can be become like a really big job if you like let it kind of if you just don't do it for a bit which is really easy because it's like the most boring job um, but yes must reclaim so anyway I'm gonna get on while I'm tidying up I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you once I've hollowed out all my cottages okay morning guys so it's the next day and um, yeah I didn't film anymore yesterday because I was just hollowing out all those cottages and it took like a million years so I finished work like really late so I'll just show you those now. This is much bigger than I normally carve. I want to try to make these into butter dishes, which is why I haven't, um, I'm not going to cut out any windows. I'm going to um, kind of glaze the windows in. So I'll show you that if that works out. So these are my stone cottages. This is for burning incense, why I put a chimney on the top. And this one is for burning wax melts. So there's no chimney, the roof flips over so you can put wax melts or essential oils in it. And I've decorated this one with pressing lavender and then some other foliage. So yeah, I'm gonna let these guys dry out now before I can properly carve them. So I have this box. And also this box. And I also carved these out, which are going to be whiskey tumblers, hopefully. So I'm going to leave the lids off these guys so that they can dry out a bit. And then I also did some ones in black clay. So these are going to be the Tudor style houses. Yeah, so that's what I finished doing yesterday. Even though it doesn't look like much, it does take a while to hollow them out. Um, so yeah, I'm hopefully going to carve those maybe um, on the weekend. So yeah, probably after this vlog goes up, but I'll show you, I'm actually going to film those properly. So I'll have a little tutorial for you guys on how I make those. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to, walk over to the summer house which is where I keep all of my other bits that I um, are like drying out because I'm unloading one a bisque fire today and I want to load another bisque firing and I'm just hoping that they have dried out the door is open <laughs> hmm. so these are all my things for bisque I have some you know me wobble you know me mugs, lemon juices and coasters so so for the rest of the day I think I'm gonna throw wheel, do some wheel throwing I want to make some vases I'm thinking of making like a little trio of vases um, kind of like different shapes so I'll have like a, a curvy one like a kind of fat lady and a egg shaped one and then I think more of like a bottle shaped one so I'll show you guys when I'm throwing that and kind of show you what they look like. I might change when I'm actually throwing, but I've done these forms before and I think they all look really nice together. So I want to do like a little trio, kind of like smaller vases, like bud vases. So I'll get on and do that now. So this is one of the vases I've made. It's more of like an egg shaped vase. So I've bellied out the middle and I really like how round and fat it looks. And here I'm using my Hartley & Noble rib, which um, is really great for adding texture to the surface. So I'll actually leave this link down below if you want to get it yourself. But it's really good because it has like these flat sides, but also this forked sides, which is really great for adding texture and these kind of like grooved stripes around the pot. And you can also add patterns as well if you want, like a wavy pattern, which I think I might do as well. 
Um, but I really like this kind of subtle texture it gives to the outside and I'm excited to see how this kind of texture performs with my different glazes because um, I also have some smooth and some textured vases so I'm excited to see the difference. And that's it. So I've just finished storing all those vases and I'll show you. So I wanted to go for so I wanted to go for like three different types. Um, so I have like an egg one, like a fat lady one, and then more of a straight one here. Um, and then I also added texture to, I have one smooth and one textured of each. So I really like how they look. Um, I hope they look, I think they'll look nice together as a three or even just one. Also looks cool. Um, and then I also made these like jugs, these wobble jugs, which I thought would be I haven't, I haven't ever made jugs before, but I had an idea to make them wobbly, similar to how I make the cups, so they're kind of like nice and tactile to hold. So yeah, those now, I'm a bit tired. And um, yeah, so um, now I'm unloading the bisque actually. So yeah, I'm gonna get on and do that. And then I'll probably leave it here actually. Um, I probably will put up me the video of, I'm gonna film it for a tutorial of how I load and unload the bisque. And also I did actually film a tutorial making these, um, these like Kurunuki ring holders. So I'll pop that up. That's quite like a quick and easy video if you're interested in making one of these. Okay, in a bit, bye.